Ooh, what's up my trim Vegas vibe peeps? In this one, we are visiting three iconic buildings near the Queen's Park Savannah. And it's also an art exhibit tour. Anywho, let's kick it off at Stolmeyer's Castle. But first, happy Republic Day Trinidad and Tobago. All right, let's go. All right, so right now the patriotism exhibition has spanned across three historic buildings these past few weeks. Unfortunately, we cannot record on the inside, but I'm just going to show you the architecture on the outside. Hopefully you have visited. I have posted this in my community tabs. It would have been posted out some weeks before. So I hope you all check it out. Let me know in the comments below if you did. Now let's go take in some architecture stuff. This is Culinary Castle or Stolmeyer's Castle as we like to call it. Now these three buildings that we are visiting in this one is part of our Magnificent Seven here in Trinidad and Tobago. So any opportunity you get to visit them, especially for free, you should take advantage of. Within Stolmeyer's castle is various local oil paintings depicting life in Trinidad from you know the 60s go back and this is part of First Citizens Bank private collection which was amazing by the way especially that's the building it's in that well the building that's hosting it yeah I wonder if I'll be alive by, by this year, boy, for when they crack it open. But let me just show you an overview of the castle. I mean, you would normally see this from the savannah every time you walk. This is the savannah here on this side. But we actually on the inside, which is kind of cool. Hopefully one day we'll be able to, you know, come and explore on the inside when they do have the, the exhibit. Right, if you can link that, let me know, message me. But yeah. I highly recommend this. And if you had visited, let me know in the comments below. Trim Diego vibes. All right, let's head across right now. We're going across next door to Whitehall, the office of the Prime Minister. So for security reasons, we couldn't record. I won't lie. The architecture inside there was amazing. Not just what Central Bank had on display because at Solmeyer's Castle, we had First Citizens Collection, First Citizens Bank Collection. At uh, the White Hall or the Office of the Prime Minister, we had a part of Central Bank's collection, which is also amazing. We got to see a little bit of the history, like different parts of history throughout Trinidad and Tobago back in the past, where certain things were, how buildings were. It's pretty cool. And also, if you want to take in like some pictures of what inside the White Hall looks like, the National Trust of Trinidad Tobago has some pictures up on their website. I'll leave a link to that site in the description below as well for you to check out. Also, it would be greatly appreciated if you can hit that like button as we celebrate 46 years of being a republic. Yeah, this is the Millefleur, the third art exhibit out of the series of three and actually taking some local art. Our people our culture, our art. <laughs> Bringing you inside Milford with this one. Angostura Collection right here. One of the Magnificent Seven, right now home of the National Trust of Trinidad and Tobago in this art exhibit tour. Now these are some amazing works by local artists here in Trinidad and Tobago. And while we go through these beautiful paintings, just thought 
I'll share some info on Republic Day itself right here in Trinidad and Tobago. So, we gained independence in 1962. And this simply means that we were no longer governed by another country, in this case, the British Empire, right? However, we still followed their laws and rules and everything, right? So, they wasn't ruling over us, but we were still following their legal system, right? Until 1976, where we became a republic, which meant that we established our own rules, our own laws, our own constitution, right? Our for the people, by the people kind of system. And although this was done on August 1st in 1976, right? We celebrated on September 24th because that was the first day that the first parliament of Trinidad and Tobago was held. So hence, that's why we celebrate Republic Day on September 24th. So if you didn't know, now you know. Still feels surreal walking through these buildings though. I've been in here already once already and it's still amusing to like be in here to be surrounded by this and to take in all this all right this is the only one out of the tree that allowed me to film inside here so show all the management here pretty cool pretty awesome let's head upstairs now This is the history of Angostura. Wow, that looks familiar. Yeah, I just had to, you know, come out here. Just show the ground with like again. So yeah, so this would have been put on from since when boy the around August 26 25th around there up until the 23rd of September just before Republic Day I hope you all came in and take took in this this was pretty cool though and it's still amazing because these are some historical buildings right I mean going back to since when this like these these were the big buildings from since the 1900s the early 1900s and I'm not even going to jump into the history of it because I'd have done that already in another video that you can check out when I did a marathon around the Queen's Park so far now. I will leave a link to that in the description below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Alright, let's go take in the last bit and head out. By the way, this exhibition is going on until the end of this month, September 2022. So you have until the 30th in case you are here or haven't visited yet. And as you can see, the admission to all these viewings are free so <laughs> please take advantage of that if you can september 30th will after that they will take it down and i'm sure they'll have it again hopefully they, they do yeah so although i wasn't able to record on the inside of white hall i was able to take photos in front of these steps this is one on the inside going up to the prime minister's office and this is the next one on the outside the marble step as you enter 
So that's just, you know, proof that I was actually there. Hope you enjoyed that one. Until the next one, my Trinbago pipe peeps. By the way, if you want to check out when I did here during the Wally time, you can check it out here. Yeah, check that out. If you want to check out when I walked around the Queen's Park Savannah, you can check that here. Until the next one, uh, go on. Later.